Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, great. Good to see you guys. This is Jordan Adler coming to you from Las Vegas. Lots of cool things going on at the home office. Card volume is going up. Um, Cody tonight, I, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know he was going to do it. He, he announced a, a pretty exciting holiday promotion for those that want to put the pedal to the metal. I think it's called the Cheyenne Holiday Promotion or something like that. I don't really know, but it'll, I'm sure we'll see that uh, hit the Facebook group tomorrow. Um, she signed up something like 70 customers. I didn't write the numbers down, but something like 70 customers in 30 days. Uh, she's a machine, and you know what she's doing is is so consistent with so much of the stuff that we've been teaching. So just really listen carefully to what she's talking about. Take some notes. Um, Cody shared some exciting things with me from Thailand. He was over in Bangkok, Thailand for the BNI International Conference, and Nate and Kelly Dominguez were over there. And uh, he got inspired. I mean, he came back with some really, really exciting, great ideas. But I'm going to let him tell you about that as they kind of develop um, tonight. So, again, watch for that holiday promotion. Uh, Cody actually gave Cheyenne, I think it was a prompting, gave Cheyenne a $2,000 bonus tonight for what she accomplished over the last 30 days. So uh, that was pretty exciting to hear that. So um, tonight, I want to talk about three things how to get nearly 100% of the people you meet with, um, I'm sorry, how to get nearly 100% of the people uh, that you know to meet with you about send out cards. That's the first thing. The second thing is how to get nearly 100% of your, the people to sign up with you and also talk about you know, uh, where is the money. I wanna talk about that as well. So first I just wanna say that the topics for this call uh, this webinar every Monday night come from you. Um, and when I say that, it's usually a message that I get with a question or somebody wants to set up a call with me. I usually do two or three of those a day. Uh, I've got a couple scheduled tomorrow where somebody just has questions or they've got an opportunity that's come up uh, within the send out cards um, community that they want to bounce bounce off me or they want to check and you know see what's the best way to approach this or that. And that's where the topics come from for this call because Inevitably, I know that many of you have the same questions, and the, I got uh, I'm going to talk to you tonight for a few minutes about my phone's ringing. I'm going to talk to you tonight for a few minutes about um, uh, a call that I got this week from a guy that uh, sells security alarm systems. I'm not going to mention his name, but I think he's with ADT, and he sells to businesses. And he's very excited about send out cards. He sees the opportunity. In fact. Every business he calls on, and he calls on multiple businesses a day. When I hear about these salespeople that are out there that are selling, you know, they talk about having to make 30 or 50 sales calls a day. You know, if we, if we did a third of what these salespeople do in traditional sales opportunities, our income would go through the roof and we'd have large residual income checks. But this guy calls on ADT. Uh, he sells ADT security systems and he calls on businesses and he calls on many, many businesses a day. I think he told me it was like 30 a day. And then he goes in and he, he sells them systems to keep their businesses secure. And he said, every business I go into, can you send out cards? But the thing that was baffling to him that he was having a hard time with is he had only signed up one customer in 30 days, one. And he was, he was wondering why. And this is, it was very clear to me why as I was talking to him. Um, and I'll, I'm going to share some of that with you tonight. Uh, the first thing is his strength. And by the way, this applies to everyone. This applies, it doesn't just apply to salespeople that call on uh, businesses. It applies to everyone. Um, his strength is that he's a salesman. And his liability is that he's a salesman. And so he goes in to these businesses and he's thinking about how can I get them as a send out cards user or how can I get them as a send out cards referral partner. And because he's a salesman, he's trying to sell them on it. And when you try and sell somebody, they resist, they push back. That's why he has to make so many sales calls. You know, what if, what if his business was comprised of 100% referrals like uh, so many of our send out cards customers that use send out cards to grow their business? What if he never had to make a sales call? What if he didn't have to do 30 sales calls a day? What if they came to him and said, I need you to come in because we want to buy something from you? So because he's a salesman, that's his liability, but it's also his strength. He's a great communicator. He 
is very ambitious. He's a hard worker. But I wanted to talk to him about how he could use send out cards, A, to get more referrals, but B, how could he get 100% of the people that he calls on to say yes, they want to meet with him about send out cards? How could he get 100% of the people that he meets with, nearly 100%, to say yes, I want to sign up with you? Number one, he needs to make it about them and not about send out cards. He's trying to get them to do send out cards. He's trying to get them to buy from him. How about making it about them and not about send out cards? And the secondly, secondly, learn to compliment and showcase them. So what I suggested that he do, I asked him, how much do you make off the sale? And I don't remember what he said, but I think it was 200 to $1,000. $200 to $1,000 he made on a sale. And I said, let's take the low end, 200 bucks. Would it be worth $10 of your money to, um, to uh, encourage them, lift them up with, a, with some positive energy and encourage them to uh, just um, remember you and feel good about you because you acknowledge them. So he said, sure, yeah, 10 bucks. He could definitely invest that. I said, make sure, and he wasn't doing this, make sure that every single person you meet with and every single person you sell a system to gets a card from you with either a picture of them or their staff or their logo or their um, office uh, you know, receptionist, something from their office. Put that on the card. Do it while you're still sitting in your car before you even leave the parking lot and send them a little gift. It's so, it's so obvious that it's right, it's right in front of us, right? It's right in front of us. And I'm not, I'm not putting him down. So many people miss this opportunity. And I said, don't say anything about send out cards. Just acknowledge them and appreciate them. Your card might say something like, hi, thanks for giving me an opportunity to serve you. You have a beautiful office and I loved meeting your staff or whatever, whatever happened. The main reason I like what I do is because I get to work with people like you. Here's a little token of my appreciation, uh, sincerely, and then his name and phone number and his logo on the back of the card if he wants to. So they know he is the guy, the security alarm system guy in case they forgot, which they probably didn't. So when he does that and sends that card of appreciation and kindness to that office, along with a gift, that's when the law of reciprocity kicks in. So when he contacts them and says, I'd love to get together with you and show you something that I'm using to build my business, they will most of the time, like close to 100% of the time say, yes, please come in and see me. And this applies to every, this applies to every business. It's not just security alarm systems. It's not just, uh, you know, it, it's, it's everything. It's the law of reciprocity. And so many people miss it. Even people in our company miss it. They miss the opportunity. Add a photo, add a gift. If you can't do a full gift, then you know, get on one of the subscription plans and start just sending cards out of appreciation. You know what, people appreciate positive words, compliments, showcase them, compliment them, put that in a card. So again, I asked him, how much do you make when you make a sale? You know, when you sign up a $97 customer, $97 subscription customer, you made 240 bucks because you're making $20 a month for a year. And you know what, it's more than that, why? because nobody can just spend $97 a month. They're gonna send some gifts. They're gonna send some campaigns over the holidays. The average is not gonna be $97 a month. It's probably gonna be close to $100 or $200 a month. So, I'm sorry, it's gonna be closer to $150 to $300 a month. So over the course of a year, as that customer stays with you, you make somewhere between four and $500 from one customer. Is it worth it for you to spend $10 on a gift, um, that, which includes shipping a two-pack of brownies? Because you know what? They're going to share it with people and you're going to tell people about it. There's nearly a 100% chance that they will say yes to meeting with you and a 100% chance that they will say yes to signing up. Not 100%, but nearly 100%. So here's some suggestions. And you know what? I'm not speaking from theory, you guys. I've been doing this now for 14 years. It's investing in your business. It's like your return on investment. And you do it uh, because it's the right thing to do. And it's the thing that nobody else does. And you do it without expecting anything in return. But you know what? You will get what you're looking for 
uh, if you follow these basic principles. So five things. Number one, uh, when you're with somebody, whether it be in an office or just individually, ask to take a photo with you or with them and their team. Whenever you're around other people, ask if you can get a photo, and everybody says yes to that. Number two, send them a card and compliment and showcase them in the card. Don't talk about send out cards. Don't talk about what it can do for them. That sounds great, but if you think about it in social media or Facebook terms, what happens when somebody posts something on their wall that's promoting their business? You always notice they'll get one or two likes. Anytime there's a promotion of anything on Facebook, there's just like one or two likes. But when they put something personal on Facebook, like a picture of a dog doing a little dance, their friend's dog doing a little dance or you know, un an unboxing video or something like that, you get lots and lots and lots and lots of likes and lots of shares. It's the same thing with cards. So send them something that they're going to be interested in, a picture of their staff, something that they're going to want to put up on the, uh, on the refrigerator in the break room. I walked into an Apple uh, office uh, in the, at the Biltmore, an Apple store, one year after I worked with this guy named Daniel. I went in there. Daniel helped me, had a complex issue with, some Mac, with my Mac computer. He helped me for about two hours, and a couple other people helped me as well. And I sent a card with 16 brownies to the Apple store, and a year later, I wasn't even living in Phoenix at the time. A year later, I walked into that uh, Apple store at the Biltmore, and everyone knew me. And the reason is because I put a, uh, I did put a picture of myself in the card, but I took pictures of them. I put it on a card. I sent the brownies, and they had it up in the break room for a year, and they all remember getting those brownies and eating those brownies. Well, that works with everything. If I and I did, uh, I did meet with Daniel years ago. I don't think he ever signed up with me. But um, we, did, uh, we did meet, and we became friends, actually. I haven't talked to him in a while. I need to connect with him. I think we're connected on Facebook. I gotta, he just popped into my head, so i got to give him a call. So um, number two is compliment and showcase them. Number three is invest in them, um, which is really what we're talking about. Number four is follow up with a text. I'd love to come in and show you something that I'm – using to get more referrals and grow my business. When can I catch you uninterrupted for 30 minutes? Remember the two-step texting script, it's the same thing. I'd love to set up a time to get with you. You know, one of the things I wanna talk about regarding Cheyenne's, um, Cheyenne's uh, call with Cody tonight, uh, she did a Facebook Live in a group that she set up. She set up a real estate group that was really designed, she asked her community to support her and encourage her when she felt like quitting um, she needed uh, accountability partners, and she said, would you join my group and hold me accountable? And lots and lots and lots and lots of people joined her group and, uh, to hold her accountable. She asked for their help. And so she had this large community of people that were all there to help each other around real estate. And then she was reading a book that apparently a lot of others had read that talked about the power of, I hope I'm getting the story right, but you really need to listen to her talk. Um, she mentioned the name of the book, but we talked about the power of relationships and the power of sending cards. And so she uh, did a Facebook Live in the group and talked about that with her community, talked about the book. She didn't have a structure. She didn't have a format. She just talked about the, the system that she uses as send out cards. But she said, if nothing else, go down to Target and buy a stack of cards and do that. But she says, I use send out cards. And she read from this book. And the result of that is she's got lots and lots of people that are coming to her. She wasn't doing it to promote send out cards. She was doing it to educate them and train them and help them on how they can get more referrals through relationship marketing. Cody's book is filled with stories like that that you could share. So I'm just trying to give you some ideas. So number four is follow up with a text. I'd love to come show this to you, something that I'm using to get more referrals to grow my business. I'd love to be able to show you when can I catch you for un uninterrupted for 30 minutes. And that law of reciprocity, because you sent them a card and a gift, they're going to say yes. They're really not nice people if they don't say yes. If they don't say yes to that, they're not nice people. Seriously, most likely they're not. And uh, number five, uh, in your send out card system, put everybody that uh, you meet with into a group 
um, everybody that you've met with to show send out cards, put them all into a group and make sure they receive at least one card every three months from you. And you know, I, I like to send one card a month. And if you're on the uh, enterprise plan for $147 a month, you get a hundred cards a month. And so I try and take my top 100 and make sure that they all get at least one card a month. And I'm always looking for really creative, fun ideas, things that will help to educate them, to provide value, to make them laugh, something that I can put on a card to send to that to the top 100. And they're in a group in my send out cards uh, relationship manager. So when you present, um, and I, I, again, if you're watching this thing uh, live, drop a one in the comments. If you're watching a recording, drop a two. And if you've got questions on anything that I'm talking about, you can type those questions into the comments, not in the Zoom, but in the Facebook Live. And I'll do my best to get back with you on, on answers to those. But again, um, <laughs> If you just listen to Cheyenne's call from tonight, you'll get everything you need. Really, there's nothing that I'm telling you here that's more valuable, seriously, than what she went over tonight. So thank you for that, Cheyenne. Um, so when you present, when you, when you do go finally in there and present, here's the deal. 100% of the people should sign up. Because you know what? They can sign up for a basic account. Cheyenne had a very large number of basic accounts and a very large number of $97 Premier accounts and then a few $147 accounts. I think she had a couple of those. So when you present, number one, ask them why they said yes to an appointment with you and their answer will shock you. If you'll just ask them, why did you agree to an appointment with me? What they will tell you is you were so nice. You sent me that card with pictures of my office staff or you sent me that card with the selfie on the front, you said nice things, you sent me a gift, and how could I say no? That's what they'll tell you. So ask them why they said yes to an appointment. Number two, send them a card from your phone and have them watch. So send them another card, right? If you're on a subscription, it's gonna be free anyway. Send them a card from your phone and have them watch. Make it personal with a photo and a message. Don't do a test card. I hear people doing this. They'll they'll rush through it and they'll just do a quick test just to show them, no, 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 no. Make it a real card so that they get the follow-up, they get the experience of receiving that card a few days later. Don't do a test card. Take your time. In other words, don't rush through it. Take your time, get a picture. Maybe you take a picture of them and their friends. Maybe you pull something off Facebook, put it on the front of the card, say something nice. It doesn't have to be a long thing. It can be one sentence. And then change the font so they can see that. And, Slide the bar and change the size and then change the color. Let them watch you do that. And then send it to them. Hit the send button so they can see free, free. Show them the gifts. Show them the gift cards. Take the time to do that. And then go to the landing page. Um, the landing pa page, um, your landing page is www.sendoutcards.com forward slash your uh, ID or your username or ID number sendoutcards.com forward slash your username, your ID number. On that page, starting at the top all the way down gives you step by step how to show this to them where the first part talks about using the system, the second part talks, talks about the three different types of card sends, and the third part talks about the different ways to get started. So go through your landing page, explain the three different types of card sends, show them the video on the ways to get started, the four different subscription plans, and then ask them, which plan would work best for them? You can mention the paid for. You can mention that for a $59 referral partner upgrade, when they do that, they're going to have the ability to sign up more customers on the same plan as them, and that can have theirs paid for every month. So explain that to them. And worst case scenario, sign them up on the basic plan. It costs them nothing to do that. And now they have the app on their phone. I was out, I was in the city of Chicago a couple nights ago and I was in San Antonio for a few days and I look around and I see all these thousands of people that I couldn't possibly get to on my own and thinking to myself, every single one of these people should have the Send Out Cards app on their phone for when they need it. We're not doing a good enough job. I'm not doing a good enough job. I could do way better. I'm signing up a lot of customers and a lot of referral partners, but you know what? I could do better and you could do better too. Everyone should have this app on their phone. It makes such a huge difference. Once somebody starts to use it, you know this. You know this because you're using it. Cheyenne's doing this 50 card challenge. I love this. 10 cards a day for five days. She's challenging the people in her group and people are actually signing up with her to do 10 cards a day for five days. That's a 50 card challenge and the stories that are coming out of it are blowing her mind and their mind. 
So pretty simple, but it's powerful. So when you get with them, when you, when you finally get and you get your appointment set up and you go there, whether it be on Zoom or in person, first thing, ask them why they said yes to the appointment. Second thing, send them a card from the phone and let them watch you do it. Third thing, go to your landing page, explain the three different kinds of, kinds of card sends, and then show them the ways to get started video and ask them which program would be best for you. And if they say, I'm not really sure, let me think about it. So let's get you on the basic. Let's get you signed up on that. And then it's just a click to, to upgrade if you want to upgrade. So I'm going to wrap things up tonight in the next few minutes and talk about where is the money in send out cards. I received a, a text. Again, one more thing. Uh, on Facebook, if you have questions that I didn't answer or something that you're unclear about, drop a question in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. And you know what? There'll probably be some other of our top leaders that will be glad to answer as well. So finally, um, where is the money? I received a text uh, this week from a referral partner looking for someone in send out cards who had landed some big accounts because she was working on one that had tens of thousands of potential users. And I have to be honest, I don't know anyone in send out cards that's, uh, uh, that has uh, signed up any huge accounts that are actually using it. So the first thing is no one to date that I know of has signed up one of these big accounts yet. There's some beta testing going on and things like that, but that's not what she's talking about. She, she wants to know how can we take what we have right now or how can we uh, position it so that it will work for a big company. And the truth is we don't really have a model like that. That's the first thing. The second thing, Sendogo, our new product, will allow us to eventually get to those people. But number three, the buying cycle on that is going to be very long. It's not going to be something where you sign up a big company and two months later you're getting a big check. It's going to be months from the time you actually introduce that customer, that big customer. There's a buying decision that has to happen with a big customer like that. Usually involves lots of people, lots of signing off on stuff. And by the time they're actually integrated and in the system, it's going to be months. So you don't want to wait or bank on that. The big money in send out cards is in the small money. There's a reason I get a very, very large residual check each month is because in my organization, there are thousands and thousands of people that have tens of thousands of customers, little customers that are spending anywhere from 20 bucks a month to 300 bucks a month. The mass market is our biggest opportunity. It's kind of like the tax base, the big money for the government is not in the wealthy people that pay their taxes. It's in the many, many uh, individuals that, 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 that pay a little bit in taxes. It's, this, it's because we go to the store and we buy something from the store and we pay tax on that. And there's millions and millions of sales going on every day. That tax revenue is much larger than the few that spend a lot of money. That's, that's where the big money is. The big money is in the small money in network marketing. So the people that make big money in network marketing, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people making $300 a month. And for a lot of people, $300 a month is all they need to make a huge difference and they'll get their $300 a month residual check and be totally happy with that. But when you have lots of people making $300 a month, then you're making the big money. It's just like the tax base. It's a lot of people doing a little. That's the concept of network marketing. So help lots of people make $300 a month and you'll make thousands of dollars a month. So it's not in going out and landing the big companies that a lot of times people think the people that are making the big checks are the ones that went out and get, got the big companies. No, it's about us getting a few. In, in Cheyenne's case, she's getting a lot, but you only need a few really. If you have 20 customers, you're in great shape. Get 20 free customers and some of them are going to upgrade to the 97 and some of them are going to upgrade to the 147 and some of them will upgrade to the 17. Go out and get 20 rock solid customers, people that will be your customers and then focus on helping some people upgrade. That's where the big money is. It's in replication. And I'm, I haven't talked about this in a long time, but I've got a couple of minutes and I want to share this. I have found that for every 30 referral partners or distributors that you sign up, a third of them are going to do nothing. You can't change that, no matter how good you are. A third of them are going to do a little, and you're not going to be able to move that bar either. A third of them are going to do a little more than a little, and one out of 20 to 30 will go out and do something worth talking about. 
And that has nothing to do with send out cards. It doesn't have to do with you. It doesn't have to do with our comp plan or our structure or our product. It has to do with the nature of people. It's the same numbers of the people that join a health club. A third of them do nothing. A third of them do a little. They work out once in a while. A third of them work out regularly, but not all the time. And one out of 20 to 30 will go out and become, you know, a monster. So um, that's kind of how it works. And so it's the same in network marketing. So we're not we're not pushing referral partner or distributor here, but what we are doing is we're offering everyone an opportunity to be a referral partner, to earn their paid for and get their system paid for. But also if they want to continue to refer customers and referral partners, they can build an organization and create something, create an extra check, a residual check. The, the cool thing for all of us, for you and for me, is that out there, the percentage of people that have a residual check is very, very tiny. And I would be surprised if more than 4% of every person, of every group of 100, 4%, I'd be very surprised if more, more than 4% are receiving, receiving a residual check. It's probably less than that. But the truth is everyone wants one. If they're honest, everyone would love. That's why they play that sweepstakes. What is it? The, re, the, the uh, clearinghouse sweepstakes or something like that. They play the lottery. They want a residual. People want a residual check. And we have a way that we can provide that if they'll do a little bit of work and shares a really great idea that makes a difference with, uh, for people with others. So, and some people out there, they just catch the fever and there's nothing you can do to stop them. And they're well networked and they, they can't wait to tell people about it. And when that happens, it's like a money machine. It's, it, it truly is. It's like a money machine. Money pours into your bank account each month. But it takes time to get to that point. So I'm going to wrap the call up now. And again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, it's always a pleasure every single week to spend some time with you. And again, a reminder, find that call that Cody did with Cheyenne tonight and listen to it. Listen to it again. Share it with people. It's so good. So you guys all have a great night. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.